What's going on guys, so today basically we're going to be doing a video where I'm reacting to a, a tournament match we played against Team Fierce. Uh, we were down 5-0, probably one of the craziest comebacks I've ever done in my like, career on Cotton, you can say. Uh, I don't think any other team has ever come back from 5-0 on an S&D game in a tournament ever, so I felt like I wanted to react to this match and give you my thoughts and maybe give some insight of what we're thinking, guys. So I hope you guys enjoy the video and uh, leave a like if you like it. Alright guys, thank you. Let's get started here, you know, the first round here, I remember, we're down 5-0, dude, our, hey, we're just like, alright man. Man, like we got this just we weren't even we were, we were just like all right like can we just get one round like can we not get five owed uh and they pushed them in here and they just screwed a little bit right there uh <laughs> they got shouts here too i remember we got a two-piece right here uh that was pretty big play to get two guys here just even now for a 1v1 uh, but i get taken out here and get refragged marshy here gets a free frag and this 1v1 here like i don't know why the like, caster is talking about the hg40 i mean it takes trying to clutch a 1v1 but this right here was a good momentum swing right like we needed this round right here that's up to take and he's the type of guy you know you can trust to clutch a 1v1 here i know he did and after we won this round i remember like we were just like nice like we were like so like <laughs> you can say like depressed uh but we were like nice nice <laughs> this, this next round was pretty huge too i remember it was a 2v2 with me and challenge um i'll let the caster speak here but you know we we didn't have the, our, our, our main roster with uh, Cloud and Nero, so we had Martian Little B playing in because Little B was, you know, he's been playing with us, but not but not as much as, like, you know, he usually is because he needed school and he's just trying to get used to the phone. So we had Marshy come in, and we, we, Nero was offline, or he couldn't make it, so we had Little B step in too because uh, Cloud was busy as well. So this mound was also pretty big. I mean, I'll freak you for this round. I think they took the site here. I think they just kept pushing B this, on this side of the CT. I don't know why they kept pushing B. Uh, but I guess, you know, if they were getting on site for free, you know, a free bomb plan, you know, it's it's like a free, you know, free, it's like a hungry turkey, you know, like you free, free chicken right there, free bomb plan that you can say, I don't know what I'm saying, but yeah, just let the casters cast here. That was my nade right there. I thought he had a laser sight for a second. I swear I saw like a little green light on it. Yeah, he does. It's one of the, one of the laser sights. I don't know what Little B here is doing. He should be in laundry trying to get a pick. That's just what I would be. If I had a sniper, that's what I would be doing. That's just from my analyzation right there. I would say S and D is definitely the one game mode where I wouldn't recommend. Oh, there we go. There's a big. I can see it out. Like we had a man advantage this round almost every, like the entire round. We just we just gave it up for free. I don't know why we did that. We did give him free picks, and that was like really bad from our part. You just pick on second. It's a two v two situation, and you know when you're giving up like a five v three and a three v two, you know that's really, really like, bro, come on, like you don't don't give free picks. But you know they have snipers. It's possible. You just got to play passive, like we're doing here. We're just trying to avoid the sniper. And I remember like we were just like group up, man. We got this. Just push to mid. And you know, before you're pushing up, obviously you know make a plan with the teammate. So I remember Ben was. I remember Child was like, yeah, I'm gonna push through bar. I'm like, alright, I'll push through. Uh, I'll push through rocks. And he called, I remember he called out, he, there's one guy bar, and I was banking on some guy pushing out, and uh, you know, it worked out here. Easy defuse, he said. <laughs> this is 5-2 right here, and this is just like, you guys don't understand, like, we're down to like basically six match points, like six match points, we have to come back and win six rounds in a row, like, it has to be a perfect game. Like for us to win, and like we, there can be no mistakes, even though we made so many mistakes this map. Uh, like people, like we had a lot of people step it up at the end, though. Yeah, you can see they're pushing B again here. And they get this, he gets Martian B, and when I saw that, dude, I was like, bruh. I remember it's like, was also like, bruh, come on. And then Beast get, he kills himself. That's actually really like. I'll take like let's say we'll take that you know because you'll see that if he didn't kill himself there it would have been a, it would have been a two v five you know you see here it would, it would have been a two v five if, if a beast didn't kill himself there and this is probably the like the biggest round right here the two v four this is probably the biggest round right here where I remember I pushed into red and I saw that guy and I knew I had to push this guy but I knew this guy was sniping ring so Charles was like yeah I'm gonna smoke it I'm like he's like I got you and this Charles is like. I remember Charlie just pushed in there. I remember I got the pick, and the guy was sniping. I picked up the sniper, and I got the pick on this guy. I got a pick with the sniper. You can see I got the pick with the sniper. And that was like the quickest flick I've ever hit in my life, that sniper. And I got this go-to right here. Like, this round was so perfect right here. Like, I get the guy in red. Like, Charles causes the distraction and go in red. Kill the guy, pick up his sniper, go top red. And I did, like, the biggest flick of my life on the guy ring. And I just push out, and they're like, get this guy, get this guy. And it was, like, such good teamwork right there, I remember. That was such a good round. 
Like, that was so lucky. That could have been a 2v5, though. Like, we, we should have lost that round. Like, that was a miracle. Like, they threw that so hard. Like, I don't know. I don't know what they were doing. Man. Why would you go back B once you lose a 2v4? Uh, they're probably, you know, assuming that... They're probably trying to play off little B, to be honest. Or Marshy. Because they know they're not really experienced B players. Yeah, they don't. We gave them the site for free. I mean... I didn't think we'd give him the side of free when I was playing. I was like, are you guys even fighting for the site? <laughs> I was like, what? But then I realized they were just playing. And they get taken out again, dude. And there was a kill right there. You can see I get a kill right there on uh, on Beam, I think. If I died right there, you can see I was a one-shot. Like, I had no teammates to come back me up. If I had died right there, that would have been the game over. It would have been a 2v5 right there. That was, like, the biggest, like, underrated play right there that no one saw. That these guys didn't see. Like, I, I literally turned on him so hard. I, like, guys don't understand. I was literally one side you can saw, but... If I didn't, if I didn't get the kill, we would have lost 100%. Because there's no way they're gonna throw a 2v5. I mean, we, we, me and Sekiro were like, oh, let's push in red, and I get the guy drive away here. And then, mm -hmm. yeah, they get in this pick here, and this is also another clutch moment here, taking the defuse, and I'm just like holding driveway in the sky right here. Dude, I was so like, I didn't even know where he was, and Marsh was like, he's driveway, driveway. So I turn around and like, I just laser him, but he was trying to get him too, so that was pretty clutch. At 5 4, boys. At 5 4, we were like, damn, are we actually gonna come back? <laughs> I remember we were like, we we're like, ah, right, we got this, we got this, boys, we got this. Yeah, after each round, we were getting more, like, more hope, you know, we were just like, damn. And I was just like, I remember Tech started talking more, everyone started talking more. When we were down 5 0, it was like, no comms. Like, he was saying, for 15 seconds, but man, that doesn't matter, man. Those are, it could have been a 2v5 right there. Like the the play was the kill on launcher and beamed, and then getting the other th the, the sniper, the basically the sniper rocket launcher from Childs is what brought us back in that round. And then we got the pick right here. I don't know why they're not spectating the people like on the site. There we go. Like you're supposed to be spectating that, that so people near the bomb, you know, <laughs> defending. Oh, right. here's a five v four here. Just played by Childs. I was like. When he's pushing out here, I don't even think he's pushing out. I'm like, I just see him like just like bum rush pillars. And then yeah, we clean up that site. And then this 5-5, five five, dude. I mean, it was 5-5, five five, we're like, damn, bro. Like, let's like come back, man. We're all hyped. We were like, let's go, boys. Let's go. I remember Tectonic. He, he was top fragging with zero kills with four bomb plants. <laughs> when I was 05. I was like, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> it was so funny. It was tough wrecking with zero, it was zero kills and like four bomb plants. I'm in the car. We were like, we were like, just push mid, just push mid, and you know, smoke. And that smoke, I, I missed my smoke right there. Like, I missed my smoke so hard right there. So we got so lucky we didn't get sniped there. I don't know why they didn't at least have anyone on A. I don't know why they would bank on a B pusher. Whoever called that was definitely not like should not call again. I <laughs> just might. Be. I'm just not trying to be mean, but like, why would you call a stack B? Like, that doesn't make, that doesn't make, that doesn't make any sense. I remember we set up on A. I remember we set up really good on post plant because when you're getting A side for free, man, you can set up so well. You can push deep into jungle. And here we did have kitchen control, and you know that's just basically you know confirm round. I remember this guy pushed in here, and Child is like, "Damn, okay, let me push in here." <laughs> I guess the trade. I remember I would have gotten the trade there anyway. I was shooting him. I got a major assist there. And here I did like an insane. Pl I did a good play where I saw a guy go to the kitchen. Go from mid to mid steps, and he didn't see me, so I was just like, I'm, I'm gonna push him in steps, and I'm gonna push him to pull side. That's where I got that pick right there, and beamed. Uh, he was going rocks, so it makes it a 5v3, and then boom, 5v2, and then, no, for 3v1 actually, and then boom, easy round right there, and that just crumples it. It was a bunch of good plays combined, you know, that was like the craziest comeback right there, to be honest. And they're like, reverse sweep, yeah. Just man, I've never come back from 05 before ever. My like my time on Cod and playing competitively. Like this was probably the craziest game I ever played. Like the amount of like man advantages, man disadvantages we had and came back. Like we should have lost that. They threw so hard. <laughs> but we ended up winning the series. I remember two one the domination. But we lost to them like a few days ago in the playoffs. But you know that happens. No OBJ player. They're saying he had four kills. Yeah, it was funny. But this was a great game. I remember this will be like one of the games I want to remember. I saw him making reaction videos. This is on my channel, so it's like etched in the history of Cotton. So the like 05 comeback right here. Yeah, it's definitely a great game.
But yeah, guys, you know, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. If you want me to react to more tournament matches, you know, make sure to leave a like. You know, if you get a thousand likes on this video, I'll do another one. Even if you made it this long. Um, I just felt like I wanted to like post so much and it was a memory. But yeah, guys, you enjoy the game and uh, have a good one, guys. Thank you for watching.